Hi, John Lane here with a second look uh, to give an example of an observation or a series of observations that seem in conflict with your original conclusions and how you can develop a better understanding as you uh, further consider uh, what is the, the most true statement about uh, a topic. So in this example, uh, the first statement of hot air rises, true or false, uh, certainly are common way of looking at it is that hot air rises. So how about the comparison of hot air spreads uh, or disperses, uh, true or false? Uh, or better put, which is the more accurate statement? Um, certainly our premise is that hot air rises because that's what we observe on a frequent basis, whether it's formation of uh, clouds or water cycle or otherwise. So uh, two statement, two observations that conflict with this. Uh, I remember watching uh, years ago about how somebody showed the temperature at the, uh, the very field uh, or the ground of a baseball field being like 120 or 130 degrees, uh, but up higher up uh, wasn't quite as hot. Uh, or the common observation of seeing snow caps on a mountain. Uh, the snow is at the top of the mountain, not at the bottom. So if heat was only at higher elevations, then it really should just be at the ground. Uh, so what's the more accurate way of looking at things is that uh, heat uh, starts off at the ground, the ground absorbs sunlight and uh, generates the heat, and then the heat rises from that point. Uh, but heat will spread from whatever point is hottest. Uh, that's why we can still have ventilation at the tops of a, at the top of a room and still have heat spread throughout the room. Uh, so, in a not related, but uh, the analogy at hand for my business as a physical therapist and dealing with pain, uh, if we always assume that pain comes from damage or pain comes from an injury, uh, then it's easy to conclude that somebody should not have pain if they do not have damage or they do not have an injury. Um, that is being exaggerated or uh, unfounded. However, uh, pain is a protective stimuli or a response to a stimuli uh, so that you do not have damage or that you do not have uh, an injury. So uh, in conclusion of a better understanding is that pain can come after damage because of the event but that pain can be present without having an event and that we should still consider that as being a valid explanation and not necessarily a psychological uh, amplification of a message. Hope this helps as you uh, consider what people are experiencing or you're experiencing for yourself. And thanks for listening.